Hi friends, happy Thursday. Welcome back to our phonemic awareness lesson for today. Today, in your packet, you will need the pictures that look like this with your op words that we practiced last week. So we have top, mop, and hop. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, welcome back. We're gonna continue working on our learning target that says, I can identify the beginning, middle, and ending sounds of words. So as we are sounding out words, we're doing several things as readers and writers. We're listening for the beginning, the middle, and the ending sounds, letter sounds, that we put together to make words. In order for words to be real, they have to have a special kind of letter inside of them to make them real. Sometimes they have one, sometimes they have more than one, but no matter what, there has to be one of those special letters in a word in order for it to be real. What do we call those five special letters of our alphabet that do two jobs, make words real and have two sounds? Those are called vowels. Let's say that word together. Everybody say, vowels. Very good. And there are five of them. Let's say the names of them and the sounds that they make. They make two sounds. So let's do the motions as we practice. We say A says A ah, and A says A. E says E eh, and E says E. I says I and I says I. O says Ah and O says O. U says a, uh, and U says you. Very good job. And we've practiced making words with all of those. We do that using our blending arm, where we use our shoulder, our elbow, and our wrist to make one sound for each part of our word, the beginning, middle, and end. So today we're gonna sound out those words, top, mop, and hop, that all rhyme but it had the same vowel in the middle. What vowel is in the middle of those words? M top, mop, and hop. I hear ah in the middle. Let's start out by stretching out the word top. So use your blending arm with me and let's touch our shoulder. What's the first sound you hear in the word top? T What's the middle sound you hear in the word top? Ah. Uh, what's the last sound you hear in the word top? P P the last sound my mouth made was P so that's the ending sound of our word. So now we're gonna stretch those sounds faster to hear our word. T -op, t -op, top. We just stretch out the word top. What letter says t teeth? So on our first line of our first picture, to label it, we're gonna write a lowercase t. What letter says ah, ah, o? Oh. What letter says P. Good. So we have t -op sounds like top. We have T-O-P that spells top. If I'm using my blending arm, I need to make sure that I'm using my sounds, not the name of the letter. So I don't say T-O-P, top. That's not going to help us hear how the word is said. When we do our blending arm, we always use our letter sounds. Okay? So you're gonna do the rest on your own for mop and hop. Make sure to stretch it out on your arm first. Mm, ah, mm, what's my first letter sound? Mm, what letter says mm? Ah, what's the next letter sound? Okay, you're gonna do the same for hop. Ah, 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 great job. So tomorrow we will work on our next list of words when you're finished doing this list, make sure to post it to your teacher's Google Classroom so we can see the great work that you're doing as a readers and writers. Keep up the great work and I will see you tomorrow for our next phonemic awareness lesson.